So I'm going to do a, an experiment of removing some sections of track because I was asked about that and I figured, well, if anyone else is going to use this, I'm going to want to know how hard it is to get out the track from it. Um, remove track from plaster, it's, it is what it is. It's not the easiest or the hardest thing, it's just kind of time consuming. So this stuff you can see, this has had days and days and days to dry. It's fully cured. And it has a rubbery quality still, and I'm knocking over rail cars over here out of the frame that I really should have moved. Arg, ah, yes, when you're lazy, you end up knocking over some of your more expensive tank cars for the Athern tank train set that I don't want to be knocking over because they have full on railings on them, these guys here. I, yeah, I don't want to be knocking those around, so I'm moving them off the way out. Okay, this stuff. Trying not to stab my hand with the screwdriver, which I just did. Barely, just tapped it. Like, not pushing hard, because this stuff's not resisting a huge amount. It's letting me grind into it, and then I have to patch the edge with more of it, or something else. Um, but, as far as removing track, <clears throat> so my recommendation is just kind of break that edge where it's attached flanges out from it onto the surface that it's attached to. Let's see, I'm going to have to, because it's caught out track, you need to kind of twist to get apart. I'm going to need to be able to twist it to the side here. So get under it, lift it, twist it. Ah, hey, that wasn't too bad. And um, the concrete patch material can peel off from the side. I'm thinking um, probably alcohol on a um, paper towel for the final cleanup after just peeling it off. You can see this stuff is not hard. It's not like plaster at all. It has a gummy, rubbery feel to it even when fully cured. but it appears you can clean up the sides a little bit. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm going to go to town on this in the sink, in the kitchen, with a scrubby, and get right back to you. Um, because I guess it would be cool to um, try and clean it as much as possible, just to, you know, Due diligence, we'll, we'll see what we can do as far as cleaning the sides up. I mean, it doesn't look bad because it's so similar to the ballast. Um, I'm going to get the camera to focus on this thing in the foreground more. There we go. Um, as you can see, just removed this piece. It was sitting in there like that. It had the concrete patch all along the edges. And um, <clears throat> I'd pick up the camera and show you that. I'll do that in a sec after I clean my fingers because they're covered with uh, sand that came out of that. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back and um, wow, okay, I might have been a little hasty in saying it won't look like brand new because this stuff looks like brand new. I mean, it a little scrubby on the side to remove um, whatever material was on there. I just took this out. This was in that concrete patch. And now it pretty much looks um, brand new. And this one's never been uh, under the camera here. We have to go with handheld. We'll try and be stable with it. But that's, that's on the bottom, brand new, never been in plaster or anything. And on the top was uh, installed in the concrete patch and then just removed and scrubbed off with a common kitchen scrubber pad, you know, just a, one of those green scrubby pads. Well, it's like that, but it's the brown ones that have like the part agave plant content because that seems kind of nice, you know. Anyway, just a kitchen scrubby. Scrubbed off the concrete patch in the bathroom sink because I didn't want to do it in the kitchen sink. And boom, done. Good to go. Um, dry it off and reinstall it. Um, hopefully I didn't get any water on the track there. Um, I, I give it a paper towel, but there's probably a bunch of water on the inside here. So, let's take a look at 
the damage done removing it, which is not a lot. This is this soft foam core material, and that's the slot it went in. Let me zoom out here. You can see where it went in. You can see um, I gouged the foam core with the tip of the uh, screwdriver right there, just a little bit, no big deal. Um, this stuff, I just, um, I'm gonna have to clean my hands again, but I got a paper towel now with a little water on it, which will do it. And I'll wanna clean up these edges, trim them down a little bit, put that piece of track in there, um, and just spread some more over it. Sorry, I'm holding the camera in a weird spot, but I just wanna trim up these edges, smooth them down, brush them off, get the um, stringy bits off because it has that rubbery quality, and then I'll put that piece of track in there again, smooth more of the material over the uh, edge, and uh, it'll be installed back in good as new. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, trying to grab something, camera in the way, totally screwed everything up. Sorry. <laughs> That was ridiculous. I'm like the worst cinematographer ever. Whatever. Good at coming up with new materials to do ballasting. Um, I tried some buff ballast using sanded grout. It's really fine, even for end scale. It, it almost seems too small, but there was like all these different colors of gray sanded ballast at the hardware store, and it was tempting, but it would be like like 14 bucks a box, so it would be 28, like, something like 40 some, some odd dollars, 38, 14, 14 is 28, 38, 42 dollars for a set of three, which is like two uh, freight cars. So, <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of on a budget right now, and that seemed like a lot. Um, and anyway, I'm just trying to use the material I got before I buy any new materials, since I did buy a lot of experimental material when I had a little more money to throw at the layout early on, and I need to use that material. That's why it's all different track, and I wanted to learn about model railroading as much as I wanted to make a nice layout, um, so I'm using all different kinds of track, and getting the experience of... Um, you know, making them meet and hiding the interface and all kinds of fun stuff like that that's just, you know, about the learning process of what people deal with in model railroading. Um, and design problem solving and scale modeling are two of my um, hobbies. So anyway, there you go. Concrete patch, easy to remove, not gonna hurt, Unitrack, plastic, um, molded ballast. This had it all over it, fully bonded to it for days, for probably about a week and a half, and I just completely removed it to where it looks like brand new. I mean, it just comes off. So, not a problem. All right. Cheers, everyone. Happy ballasting with this easy method for, um, especially yard areas and stuff.